The Starry Sky was a canvas for Van Gogh, is a wishing well for lovers, and maybe the home for E.T. But for astronomers, it's definitely the biggest laboratory and playground they could ever have. Under the same starry sky, two stargazers are pursuing two unprecedented dreams. Whether it's building a personal observatory on a mountain or constructing the world's largest radio telescope in the most inhospitable desert on Earth, their ultimate dream is to unravel the mysteries of the universe. It all began with a bang, a big bang. 13.7 billion years ago, in a huge explosion of matter and energy, the universe was born. Over time, molecular clouds collapsed, ultimately forming the planets, stars, and solar systems we see today. Located 160 kilometers off the coast of mainland China, Taiwan is a geologically young island formed by tectonic plate collision. The powerful compression created magnificent mountains, some of the highest in East Asia. But 40-year-old comet hunter Winston Tsai isn't here for the scenery, he's here for the stars. It's a perfect place to gaze into the cosmos. About 20 years ago, Halley's Comet was a craze. At the time, it was all over the newspapers. So, like everybody else, I began to watch the sky. Every day, I saw the changes of Saturn's golden rings, Jupiter's red spot, and the ice cap of Mars. I was fascinated by it and have been observing the sky ever since. Winson is an enthusiastic stargazer. Having spent half his life devoted to this hobby, he became the first amateur in Taiwan to discover a supernova and two comets shot by the SOHO satellite. The resultant fame prompted him to make more discoveries. In 2009, he rewrote the astronomical record again. Here you can see a moving star. It's the asteroid I found in March 2009. This is the first asteroid ever discovered by an amateur from Taiwan. I am so proud of it. Every month, Winston packs up his stargazing gear for a special party. At 3,900 meters, there's hardly any light pollution. So Jade Mountain is considered an ideal place for stargazing. It's a secret base where Winston and his friends share the same passion for the sky. Being an amateur astronomer is not difficult. Most of them have no academic training in astronomy. What they have is an unbridled love for the subject. Stargazing can be an expensive hobby. A high-end amateur telescope can cost around 40,000 US dollars, about as much as an SUV. However, for these stargazers, telescopes are not only precious toys that will be treasured forever, but also windows to an astonishing world. Around 400 years ago, when the Italian polymath Galileo Galilei peered at the stars through his newfangled telescope, the sky suddenly got much bigger, and humankind's place in it got much, much smaller. Today, telescopes are larger and more complicated than ever before. Yet the stars still hold their fascination for many who look up at the night sky and wonder about the origin of the universe, its immensity, and their place in it. Optical telescopes are very precise instruments. There are generally two types of optical telescopes. Refracting telescopes use lenses to gather and focus light to form images, while the reflecting telescopes use mirrors that reflect light to form images. Since lenses cost more to make than mirrors, 
refracting telescopes are usually more expensive, providing higher contrast images, while reflecting telescopes have the advantage of being more compact and more portable. For Winson's purposes, he uses both. When the sun goes down, the party begins. 20 stargazers from different parts of the island come to share their passion. It's a feast of not only the starry sky, but also of precious friendship. Winson has spent countless nights exploring the sky. He doesn't do it just for fun. He's a man with a quest. Winson wants to discover a comet with his own telescope. If he does, he'll get the exclusive right to name it after himself. In addition to taking nice photos, our ultimate goal is to find a comet and name it after us. This is a sacred goal for amateur astronomers. But with enthusiasts from around the world searching for comets, a small backyard telescope just won't do. Winston decides to build his own observatory on Hehuan Shan, one of Taiwan's highest mountains. <laughs> 